So I've been looking for, uh, I've been wanting a shotgun mic for like the longest. Um, right now I'm heading out to Guitar Center. Uh, I don't know if they're, they're open, should, they should be open. And I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me listen to some of the, some of the mics that I wanna get. Um, I wanna get the MK uh, for shotgun mic. I wanna get the, I really want the Rode NTG5. It comes with the whole, whole kit and everything. But um, I need to hear it first before I buy it. I think that's the number one I'm gonna get. It's either that or the Shure SMB7. Um, those two, one of them's like desktop mic and the other one's a shotgun mic. Can't decide from those two that I really want until I hear them. Um, but right now I'm leaning more towards the shotgun mic for video work and stuff like that, interviews and stuff. And I also want the Shure SMB7. Uh, but I'm not sure yet because I don't know. Uh, I can't decide. So uh, I'm in, in between those two, or I might get the Sennheiser Shotgun Mic 600, uh, MKE 600, or the 416. I have to listen to them first before I make that purchase. So I hope they let me listen to them there. Um, I don't know, like this COVID stuff, it's going, how it's going on. So uh, I'm going to see how it is. Um, but if anything, if I get a chance to listen to the MK um, shirt, SMB7, it's sick because I really want to hear that one. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited from those two. If they let me listen to it, would be awesome. And then I'll make my decision a lot better. But uh, I'm leaning more to the NGG5 right now. So we'll see, we'll see. But the price for the MK E600 is not bad too. So I'm like, I can't decide. I have to listen to them first before I make my purchase. Um, yeah. So we're heading out to. Um, we're heading out to. Why is it so orange? Uh, so right now we're heading out to um, Guitar Center, and, uh, and I'm hoping they have it too because it's a brand new, um, a brand new mic, the MK600 that just came out. I mean the NTG5 that just came out right now. So I'm hoping they have it, but I think I just passed the damn MC. So yeah, I'll bring you guys inside and see if, if, if anything, if they let me come inside or... I'll let you guys know when I get there. I've got like at least 15 minutes. Uh, what do you guys have your shotgun mics, the uh, Rode Okay, we're out of the Rode shotgun, I believe, yeah. But it would be back there with her. Do you guys have the new one and stuff, the TG5? Dude, we haven't been replenished, no? like, during this, this COVID. Yeah. We this haven't one. gotten replenished for, for the... Uh, um... Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so the shotgun mic. I was also looking at the Sennheiser. I just, is there a chance I could listen to them or uh, like the way they the, sound? If we have the listening thing down. Okay. Yeah. So the things that we have is we all, at this store we only have a sterling guitar, and it's nothing like any of the ones that you're looking for. Okay. The EV. It's probably the, the best option after that that we have in, but it doesn't leave you with many options. Okay. So what I would say is just Sherman Oaks is a better store to go to because it's bigger. And they stock bigger, stock deeper. Okay. What do you recommend for like indoor vocals? Is there is there like well, inside vocal, just straight something vocals? like something like that? Is it this pretty good for it? Well, do you know, right? well indoor oh, live. That's what? Live or recording? Uh, recording. Yeah. Recording, I wouldn't suggest this one. Like a dynamic one? I w well, if you want a dynamic one. Oh, you have the Shure SMB2 right here, too? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is the one that you want. Okay. You need, well, if you buy one of these, you need a cloud lifter to go with it to, for game. Do you guys have it in stock? 
oh, we don't have seven bees in this stuff. No? Okay. Yeah, like, I'm serious. Like, it's not, it sounds funny, but yeah. usually I'd be like, yeah, let me go to the back. Because I want to listen to that one too, and then the one I want to buy, the NTG5, before I purchase it. Yeah. Um, you know who could probably do magic for your life is this person right here. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I can help you. Yes. This is a uh, piece of gear. This is received from January 31st. This uh, piece on here has broken off, or it has broken so it doesn't stay. Okay, I'll get them off right away. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, yeah. I, I was. I wanted to see if you guys had the shirt. Uh, yeah, NTG. Any is NTG? That, right four one? or? Uh, shotgun mic? Shotgun mic. Oh, the, the, oh yeah. I don't think yeah. I have any shotgun mic. Uh, no, it's good. It's All it's my good stuff good is going to be not, either condensers you know, or dynamics. Right uh, what do you okay, want to use this for? I want to use it for like because like interviews and stuff. Because I wanted to get the NTG 5, the newer one. But I want to listen to it before I purchase it. Gotcha. And I also like the Shure SMB7, yeah. but you guys don't have it in stock as well, right? I don't think so. Um, you do? I'm trying to think of maybe like some Zooms or Tascams. I'm going to use a Zoom H6 to record everything. Zoom H6, wow, they made that box smaller. Uh, Zoom H6 is typically around $300 or so? Yeah, I have one already. That's okay. why I want to plug it into one of those. Okay. Um, would this be for like standing interviews or like sit down? Uh, sit down interviews, yeah. Sit down? Technically, uh, you already have the Zoom H6? Yeah, I know you can use that too. So you can use, you can use the microphone built on that. Or but I want to run it through a, a boom pole like over them or underneath them. So I put the shotgun underneath them. Okay, so I mean you can use this as the interface so you can, uh, I can have external microphones attached to it. Yeah. So you can use, kind of like for, you're looking for an overhead mic? Yeah. A condenser would do the trick for you. Um, like something like those, right? Like a little pencil mic would do the job. Um, trying to see. Okay. Those sound, I, I want to listen to. I want to listen to this condenser mic and then one of those other ones, like the shotgun mic. So I can see like the difference. This one's better for vocals, right? Yes. Like I don't that. know if we have a way to listen to things right now because of the parameters that we have yeah. to work Place? with. Yeah. So they didn't have the any of the ones I wanted in stock because of the epic epidemic, but I ended up getting uh, a pen mic which I wanted to get as well. It's a condenser pen mic. It's a, I never heard of this brand, but uh, uh, they actually let me listen to it inside, and it, I got it open box, so it was a lot cheaper. Um, it came up to like one, uh, it goes for like 200 bucks, but about warranty, so it came out around the same. And it's the ND66 right there, guys. It's a pen mic. It should say open box, 10% off. And then she said I could bring it in like in 14 days and see. And I bought it because I wanted something for like freaking, for like, um, just for vocals basically. So this, uh, I listened to it, it sounds freaking clean sounds clean and it wasn't that expensive as well it's 200 bucks I was gonna spend 500 bucks on the road NTG 5 but I'm gonna use this one though it's gonna be sick the only thing I, I wanted to get like a little uh, a little thing about about the three-year warranty but I wanted to get like I had to get it cuz I bought it used and I, it's just a store display so if it's broken or something I could just come and return it and get a new one once everything goes, gets better, but damn, this just sounds sick. And look at how tiny it is, so fucking tiny. I have to do more research on it, but I love it. Uh, what, from what I heard, it sounded nice. I'm, I just got up. It's another day I'm recording this. I just wanted to like mess around with the settings on the new, my, my new pen pencil mic. It's a, it's a condenser mic. It shoots, what am I saying, it shoots. Uh, we're gonna set it up right now on my Zoom H6. That's the main reason why I got this. We're gonna use it on my Zoom H6. We're gonna set it up. Um, and I'm just gonna show you sample footage of how it sounds on here. And it has like all these different settings as well on here. Um, I'm trying it out for the first time. I'm not very familiar with some of these settings on here. But we're just gonna try it out. I'm going to plug it into my Zoom and we're going to hear the audio coming out from that 
Right now, you're currently hearing audio coming out from my lapel mic, which is the Rode Wireless Go. You guys can hear that right now. But let's get straight into it. Um, we're going to go over some facts about this. Uh, let's do that right now, actually, since we're talking about it. This originally goes for $199. They sell it at... I went to... I bought it at Guitar Center, but you can also buy it online. Sweetwater also has it. Um, this is an electric I wanted to get a, a voice mic so like it's good for uh, for your audio for like interviews talks like right now how I'm doing stuff like that but this one is amazing uh, I didn't really know about this brand uh, it's called electric voice um, this this is one of their new uh, ND66 uh, models that just came out um, I didn't really know about this I was all into Rode I was into Sennheiser and I really I heard those before, so that was what led me to that. But this is uh, it's a, it's the like I said, it's a ND sixty six small diaphragm mic condenser condenser mic, and it really interests me because I I've been wanting to get something like small for voiceovers and stuff like that, and I was gonna get a shotgun eventually. Probably I'm gonna get a shotgun. My, but I just wanted to try this out and give it a shot and for the price I got it for um, at retail it goes for $199 um, I ended up getting so lucky that since the COVID uh, is going on right now I got this for um, they didn't have any mics I wanted they didn't have any sure SMB my, uh, mics for SMB which is great a uh, great microphone for like podcasts and stuff like that um, and the voice it sounds amazing on that it sounds nice and warm they didn't have any of those in stock um they didn't have the road ntg5 the one i really wanted they didn't have that one there um that one it was actually a lot more that one goes for 5.99 but it comes with the whole kit the right mount the pistol grip the it comes with a lot more stuff in it and i said whatever i'm, I'm um one of the ladies there recommended this one so I said screw it, I'm gonna get it. Um, I, she actually ended up letting me listen to it before buying it too. Cause right now the situation we're going through, they're not letting a lot of people do a lot of things at stores. But I ended up getting this one, and you're listening it to it right now. Um, my first time using it, so we're just gonna go straight into it, and I'm super excited. The only thing I did notice, oh, and I also got this 10% off, so I didn't get it for 199. This was the last one display and I ended up getting it for 180 but it still came up to uh, tax with tax uh, so tax and with the warranty I got warranty so I did end up paying 199 for it but I got a uh, three-year warranty with it so and this was open box display so I I didn't want to chance it and then the lady was like um even if I could like just make a small complaint, oh, I make this small noise, I could just take it in um, and re get it replaced with a new one, which I'm probably gonna do. But not right now because um, I have to. I'm just gonna wait a little bit of time to go by, and when if, once this COVID ends, probably that's when I'm gonna go and then replace it for another one. Um, but this one sounds awesome from what I heard it. I wanted to hear it on he headphones. But the headphones, uh, they didn't have headphones, so they put it on like on on desktop speakers, like the small one. And from that, from that, what I heard, it was it sounded nice. But enough of me talking, and let's get straight into this. Um, you do need an aux cord cable. I bought this one on Amazon Essentials. It was it wasn't that bad um, of a price. So I believe I spent like ten bucks for a six four cord six foot cord and since i don't run batteries on here wow my fucking camera's gonna die i don't run batteries on here so let's do this quick i'm just gonna hook it up and if the battery dies the battery dies okay so i plug this in through usb that way i don't have to worry about the battery dying and all that so i'm gonna plug that in and I plug it into my anchor battery pack. This is amazing because this gives me all the power I want. I just turn this on, turn that on, turn the switch on here, 
it's on. So I did end up get, grabbing my headphones and I restarted the camera. So this is another clip. Um, these Sennheisers, what is it called? The HD something, 25 one. Uh, they play 70 ohms. These are super amazing for monitoring and like hooking it up to like DJ setups and like, mixers and stuff like that. These are freaking amazing. I had these over for like four years, five years. And the, only th and the thing that I like about them too is that they're module. So you always change the heck, the cups, um, the strap, the wire. You could, if anything breaks on it, you just replace it and it's super easy. And they always sound nice. And the more you have them, the nicer they sound. So I just love these headphones so much. I can't say any, any good things about it. So many good things about it because I love it. So, oh shit. All right. Now, I think I have it too loud. We're going to put it on. Oh, and I was going to tell you guys some of the settings too on here. Um, let's start recording. Um, let's snap it. All right, cool. Um, so some of this, this is the setting. The settings I have on here are, I have it at zero decibels. There's a noise it makes because I think this receptor uh, connects to the phone and then mess messes it up. So I'm gonna throw my phone that way, and it makes like this beeping sound. But this is uh, the audio, the gain on my Zoom H6. It's at five right now. Five, de five, five decibels, uh, zero on the D-pad. You guys can see right there. Um, I'm like super close to it right now. Um, the audio sounds good on here so far. Um, let's go over some of the f some of the stuff it comes with. So this one comes with. Um, let's just go over some of the the information it comes with. It has um what is it let me see this is this is a lot used a lot in um in like hi-hats drums amps and instruments because it's a mic but it can also be used for uh, vocals like i'm doing just right now um it sounds amazing right now how it is on my on my on my end how i hear it right now uh it's a small di diaphragm condenser mic with a powerful bass and control mids so it's gonna sound good on that captures it will sound good in anything with like acoustics guitar sticks um like anything it'll sound super good on the on those type of things it's a high vivid end um it just makes uh vocal strings and it makes it brings it uh, like richer and brings it to life um right now you could probably hear it on there it sounds super good um it's offset it's xlr jack stays out out of the way it's a cardioid portal pattern uh, which produces a realistic image of your source um what else it doesn't really say that much about it uh it just it's a condenser mic cardioid uh frequency response goes from 50 hertz to 20 hertz uh it's max spl goes from 146 to 146 db um it, it has 200 ohms it's self noise which is 20 decibels and it's weighted high cut filter is 75 hertz and also 150 hertz which is this little knob right here that it has you guys can see right here uh right now i have it at 150 and it sounds freaking amazing and then what else does it have it's uh this one does have to run on 48 phantom power which my actual zoom gives it power to uh actually make it work it doesn't have a built-in mic inside it and um what else um, and it comes with included accessories but when i bought it it didn't come with none of those things um it did, it comes with the bag it comes with a clips uh stand clip which i did get that and it comes with a euro adapter um i don't know what that is it's part of like a 
a, a little blimp for it or something for it uh like a winch a mo uh fuck was it a foam a foamy i got i just bought one right now <laughs> it was like five bucks on amazon so i'll have that on me right now when i get it when it comes in the mail um so yeah it's a cart car cardioid condenser mic and it's sounding amazing right now um let's go straight into like the settings and stuff like that um right now i have it at zero zero decibels on the actual mic and we're gonna put it at negative 20. it's probably gonna be a lot lower in sound but you can still hear it um and the audio i could I could hear me talking more in my headphones, uh, but let's see what I, what happens when I put it at negative 10 decibels. Um, now it's at negative 10, 10 decibels. I could hear it kind of the same the way I hear it on my headphones. Um, it sounds still nice. I could still hear what I'm listening to. Um, so far, I'm loving it. It sounds good. So we're going to put it back at zero decibels because that's the way I got it and that's the way I sounded when I got it and it's at 150 as well. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to move it around and you guys can still hear it. Like I don't even have to be right here next to it and you can hear the audio coming out from it and it sounds freaking good. Um, another cool thing about this is that it comes with this amazing, you can tilt it at whatever angle you like you can tilt it like this you can tilt it down like completely down so i could have it mic'd up above me and then have this facing this way and i could be talking and you can still be hearing everything that is going on with it so uh, right now i have a fan on as well and i don't think it's picking it up so and then I can even put it down here, be talking, and then be shooting straight at me. And it sounds freaking amazing. And the closer I bring it, the better it sounds, the better the sounds. But I'm not going to use it that way because, um, I don't know. I think it's better just being straight with the boom pole facing down like this. Or when I get my, my actual mic stand, I'll put it like right here. I'll be standing straight and then be facing me. And it'll sound a lot nice. Um, uh, I decided to get a desk, a desk little mic, to, just to make it a lot easier. Just holding it right here, I'll be a part like right here, and it's just gonna be a nice little setup. Um, yeah. So this is that, and then we're gonna move this to. Let me get a let me get a knife, cause I don't have something small to put in there. Let me get uh, let me get a pen because I just this, this is hard to put inside also this is the audio coming from behind you guys can hear it it sounds freaking amazing and then I'm just gonna spin this around so you guys can hear the audio coming out from it and this, this is how it sounds um, it picks up sound from the back as well it sounds it sounds pretty good and then we're gonna move this sensor um, switch up to 75 I believe it was 75 Hertz yes it was it was at 75 um it sounds a lot more uh, crispy a little bit louder as well but let's move it it's at zero decibels as well on here let's put it at negative 20 um, I'm sure it lowered the volume a lot more and it sounds a lot lower and this is at zero once again Zero sounds a lot louder, sounds more crispier. Um, I don't need my laptop right now for information. And now we're going to try it at negative 10 decibels. You guys could hear that. It's picking up some reception from something. Probably my Mac because it's using internet. But besides that, it sounds freaking amazing. It sounds a little bit lower right now, but it sounds good. Um, but I prefer having it at negative uh, uh 50 hertz because not only can does it it doesn't give me that sound clicking sound that much but it sounds a lot more i don't know it sounds a lot louder when i hear it um let's uh, higher the gain on here you guys could hear 
I'm gonna have it at six right now. Six on the gain on the zoom recorder. Um, I'm not gonna do no post editing. That's something I'm gonna look into and like make it sound a lot more better than what what it sounds. But right now I'm I'm loving the way it sounds right now as is. Um, yeah. So this is uh, a sound review of me just purchasing this new pen pencil mic condenser mic. Uh, I didn't really see that many videos on this uh, setup. I didn't really see that many videos on this mic so I wanted to shoot a video on it and like give it out and review it for you guys um, I hope you guys like this this is the the ND66 um, I hope you guys like this video and I would like to see more videos like this I might be getting the Rode NTG shotgun mic as well in the near future but I'm gonna use this as much as as possible um, like I said, I got a lot of things I want to be shooting with this mic. I'm super excited to be making my audio a lot more better than how it used to be. Um, for reference too, I really recommend getting the video mic go as well. It makes it a lot easier for posts. You could, like that right how I'm using it right now. I'm recording audio coming from the lapel mic and then I'll sync it to this and it makes it a lot easier to sync. Uh, let's say you uh, recording an interview and one of your audio clips clips Most likely this one clips because this one is more sensitive to Sound and stuff like that or you pick up too much sound that's coming around you and you don't want that in your video uh, the, This one is right here next to me um, You could just hear it. I'll, I'll, I'll Pause it right here so you can hear you are now hearing the audio coming out from the road video mic that is so awesome because I could be move anywhere in this room and you can still hear me talking and it'll sound super clean because I have it on me as well. Um, this mic is super worth it. I think it was like 200 bucks or I don't remember. But I put it down in the descriptions if you guys want to purchase this one. I really recommend getting this one because it's wireless, connects straight into your camera and it makes it life a lot easier. And But in my case, I wanted to get it super super in-depth in audio so i ended up getting this pencil mic and then i'm gonna probably end up getting the uh, uh shotgun mic as well so I have a choice of either or i want to use so that's the mic uh wireless go i use it a lot even when i'm outside it sounds amazing it sounds good i love it i recommend getting it but now i'm getting into the this is the nt66 so now i'm gonna get more into professional audio so this is gonna be my main goal right here getting one of I'm um, using this one as much as possible as well. Um, I'm just super excited about audio and everything. I did take a sound design class and that's what got me hooked. That's why I bought this a Zoom H6 recorder because we had like a, a lecture on sound design and stuff like that. Um, they gave us a project where we just put audio and we're supposed to make like noises and stuff like that to make the videos more uh better more like i don't know it makes it a lot better to view and when you throw in sound it does make a huge difference in the freaking video quality as well as lighting as well like right now i have it super uh, i can make it a lot brighter but i i don't really want to i like this moody look it looks nice it makes my skin tone looks really nice um but anyways i'm super excited to be using this for podcasts for um, interviews and stuff like that i do work with a lot of influencers that i get to try out these products with so <laughs> i'm excited for to use this one but right now since we're in covid uh work has been slow for the filming industry but once it picks up again it's gonna pick up and it's gonna be amazing and i'm just gonna have fun with it and enjoy it a lot more um besides that from what I hear from this, I had it at negative 10. <laughs> My bad. So now I hired it just a little bit more so you guys can hear it a lot more crispier. So from now on, I'm going to be using this mic on every sh every video I make now. And I hope you guys enjoy the audio that's coming out from it. And thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want to see more videos related to audio sources and camera gear and stuff like that, subscribe, press like, comment. And tell me what you think. Do you guys 
recommend a condenser uh, pen mic or a shotgun mic. Let me know in the comments and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.